Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to the long dark. So, sorry about the little hiatus. I was trying to finish up Tales of Berseria, and it was taking a lot longer than I really planned on it taking. So I'm trying to figure out, if I remember right, our goal right now is, yeah, we have to go, I think we have to go down the railroad and fix this guy's gun down here. So I'm going to make my way back over there and uh, cut out most of it since we have seen this part of the map. Assuming nothing interesting happens like a bear, you know, is out here to try to get me or anything. Any bears? No bears. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back in a bit when I get closer to the railway. I still can't find that cache that's supposed to be somewhere around here. But to be honest, it's not like I need it anyway, so you know, whatever. I guess <laughs> it's it's not a huge deal. Just kind of like a completionist thing where I'm like, I want to get all the things. But I also don't feel like scouring the forest long enough to find all the things. There's also a deer over here. He's probably going to be a little bit uh, scared. Hello, deer. I would, uh, you got really close to me. You don't normally do that. <laughs> a little strange. Anyway, we're here now. And we should be able to proceed to the next section. So, if this is the same as I remember it being, hint, it might not be. I think there's like a ravine over here. Forlorn Muskeg. Actually, this is not looking very raviney. This might not be it. That's alright. I want to say Forlorn Muskeg is a relatively new thing. I don't really remember it. Shortwave tower. So we need to go to the right. I don't know, is this all lakes or what is what is all this? There are, there are a lot of things. I guess if I start seeing lakes to my left, these are all lakes. Is that a bush or is that something else? I think that's just a bush. Never mind. Yes, it looks like this area is covered with lakes. Well, we're about right here, actually. Although, I don't know if you can see my mouse again. I forgot. Or are we at Broken Railroad? I think we're at... Hold on. Yeah, we're, no, we're in Forlorn Muskeg. I know that for sure. Fix my rifle. Actually, I have no idea where we're at. But we are probably right here. I think. Maintenance shard. I'm a little confused because I don't know which end of the railroad we're on in Forlorn Muskeg. I assumed the left, but we could actually be on the right. In which case, I probably shouldn't go trudging off into the wilderness without a plan. That is a good way to die since I don't know this map at all. Or if there's any, like, buildings at all that I could hide in. I do have to say, despite the fact that I have screwed it up a few times... Having this many flares has definitely taken the danger out of wolf encounters. Also, I have weaponry, which if you don't have weaponry and you fight a wolf, you pretty much escape out of it barely alive. Not great. It kind of looks like this was a logging area at some point.
there aren't really any noticeable landmarks that are like close enough that I'd be able to see them as far as I know anyway. If it wasn't so foggy, I might be able to see that radio tower and then I could get my bearings. Oh, there's a wolf. If we're lucky, that'll wear off later. Okay, I see some trains up here, so... Maybe that'll give me a point of reference. Well, that's a rock. Rocks are not very exciting, unfortunately. In the other map, this is pretty much the one place I didn't go. In the middle of the train track, um, there was like some overturned train cars, and there's usually very basic supplies, if anything at all, there. It's usually not worth visiting, and there's almost always a wolf patrolling near it. So I usually try to avoid visiting it. So I'm kind of wondering... If this is going to be the same here. Thought I heard like a snarling noise. You know, wolves right off. Hey, there we go. I could use this. Another wool ear wrap. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple scattered supplies, but I don't think I'm getting anything big here. Can I put on the other ear wrap on my other ear? Hey, there you go. Now we'll be extra toasty. Use that cloth to repair the ear wrap. And some flares. I try not to keep too many of those. They're kind of heavy. A lot of random supplies here, though. Unfortunately, it is not revealed where we're at yet. This is kind of what the biggest thing I was hoping from this would be. Hey, that looks open. Alright. We have a small makeshift building here that we could stay the night in. And we got our location discovered. That's good too. Alright. Um, we... I do not see us on here. That is unfortunate. Why Why do I not see us? Even though we have discovered a location, why do I not see it? Alright then. Oh, right here I see it. It's kind of hidden behind there. So this may mean that we're just about out of Forlorn Muskeg, in which case I could go up or down for those things. We might do it on the way back. And there's also a fire barrel, so we can have a fire indoors. So we, we either may be almost out or we're barely in it. That's, that's what I'm about to find out. If the, uh, if the lakes end in about a minute or so, then we're about out of it. If not, then my scale, my like personal scale in my head of the map is way off. It just kind of seems like a connecting area, though. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to be a big main area itself. You're going to give that wolf some room. Ah, oh, 
crap. No, 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 no. Not something I want to do. Okay. Didn't know I was going to be dealing with weak ice on the mainland. Or the island, whatever it is, I don't care. Alright, so a couple options. We could attempt to go that way, but I've got a slight feeling we might get similar results. We could go way back and see if we could find land to walk on the whole way, or we could scare the crap out of the wolf with one of my 13 flares, and I think you already know what I'm going to do here. That's right, back off, wolf! It's mine! It's, it's not going to have, like, anything on it. Usually when they've been ravaged, they, they have a little bit of meat. The hide would be useful, though. Do I need it, though? That's the question. See, I want it for the trapper. What's my weight at? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, at the cusp of too much weight. I really don't need that. Unfortunately, he didn't run away quite as far as I'd hoped. Now, let's get out of flare, since I've got two of these. I wish I actually hit him. I thought I would, but I think there's some drop to it if you're too far away. Normally I've been shooting him at like 10 feet or less, you know, when they get really close. Let's hope I don't set off any weak ice. I think we might be okay. Weak ice is like no joke. It's uh, It doesn't instantly kill you, but it does, I think, instantly give you hypothermia. Which is not a fun condition to deal with if you're not near a building. And your clothes are all wet so they provide, you know, no heat resist. Your only way of surviving is, I think, to basically go inside pretty quickly. Or you're, you're toast. I never had it actually happen to me because in, before this the only place it would happen was near the coast. If you got too close to the coast edge, that's how... The, the map doesn't have an end in the sense that, like, there's a big wall or anything. Because it's the coast. But what they do is they do weak ice. Or if you go too far away from shore, um, which it's usually pretty obvious. I mean, they'll tell you weak ice. Then you have that opportunity. And if you keep going and you ignore that warning, that's when you run into the problem. Oh, this is this is not good for this rubber. Um, and I, you know, and I, I, I just did it once, uh, just to see what happened, and it's, uh, it's, an, it's not, it's not good stuff, but, I mean, if you're, if you're near enough to a house, or you can get near enough to a house, and your condition wasn't bad to start with, you can usually do it. Okay. You got wolves around here. I'm starting to think that... I was wrong about the sense of scale here, and we are just barely on in this area right now. So I may have entered from the right of the map. In which case, it is going to start becoming dark soon. Is that land? That looks like land right there. Like a mountain of some sort. But anyway, it is going to become dark at some point soon, and... I unfortunately do not have any shelter. There's a wolf chasing me. I could shoot him away, but I'd like to get rid of these... At least one of these flares first. They're kind of heavy. I think they're like half a pound each, and I don't like carrying them. Okay, there is a small hut over there. It's probably not a good shelter, but it is going to provide... I think some, like, wind resistance, basically, if I needed it. This wolf is still very upset at me. As far as I know, aside from going in buildings, or some rare, like, geometry issues, they, uh, they don't stop following you. So this wolf may be my friend for a while yet. I think there's also a chance that it will will end up still coming for you with a flare in your hand. I think we might be at the end, actually. Wolf 
bro. I'm going to need you to stop. Don't know how much longer this flare will last, but I'm sure it's not going to last that much longer. If he's still chasing me when this runs out, I'll just pull out the gun. Assuming that I'm not a... Uh, running out of time to do so. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird geometry where, like, you can fall down it, but they, they can't, I think. And that's apparently one way you can get away. Like, their pathing, I don't think, lets them fall down some things. I don't know, I've done it in the past, like, way back, but I don't, I don't remember much about it. Usually the best route is just to go inside. I think he might be gone. There are, um, some birds circling a corpse, so maybe he got distracted by that? I've never really explored that as an option, so I don't know if that's, uh, if that's possible. Oh boy, do you think when we fix the gun we'll be able to use it on our way back? I hope so. Alright, so... We're now on Broken Railroad. So I'm assuming we're coming from the right, basically. And I think we came right to left last time, in the last map. I'll, uh, I'll investigate that further later, but that's kind of what it looks like. My hope here is I can stay the night at the railroad station, you know. Hopefully it's indoors, and hopefully I can stay the night is what I'm thinking. So, we're definitely entering from the right, so we're going to hit a break in the railroad at some point soon. And it looks like a pretty sizable one, so it's probably, like, going across the canyon and I may have to find another route around. There's a path that went that way, too. That looks interesting. I think that would be down here. Yeah, I think this flare's running out. You did well, flare. Continue to burn into death as you are. Look at all this snow. I'm just wondering, like, how does a train like this run? Do they have to have a train with, like, a, a bulldozer or a, a flamethrower <laughs> attachment or something to melt all the snow first? Okay, I was expecting a canyon. This is more of a rock slide. That would explain why there's a broken railroad. Okay, so that's landslide. So we need to find a way around. Uh, it does look like we could probably do this as a possibility. Um, I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to climb up these rocks. They, they probably aren't going to let me, but I'll, I'll see if I can climb up and around them. And it is very much becoming nighttime. So, this is not looking A-OK. -okay. Mm, okay, maybe maybe that'll work. It's, it's kind of surprising. I mean, they may end up just putting a you know, an invisible wall up here, but it's kind of surprising what you can climb over in this game, even though you can't jump if you kind of just run into the walls enough. It's really helpful for getting around wolves to try to figure out, like, bits of geometry that you can climb across or fall down. So I want to say they totally expected me to go that way around the landslide. Probably not straight over it. That's alright. 
We will we'll probably do it on our way back. Or we might just go over the landslide again. Whatever I feel like, really. Okay. So we are more or less right here. So we'll be taking a right before long. To get to where we need to go. In fact, if you're lucky, this power line might actually go there. Just trying to think, like, where where is this power line intended for? And it's probably for the railway ra railway area. Ray or Ray? I did it, I did it again. I think I was talking about that last time. About how I can't say railway in like casual conversation without just like. Sounding very strange. Railway. <laughs> oh, hey there. We found us a train. That I, I can't get into. I kind of thought this was going to be like a temporary little shelter I could go in. But all you can do is climb it. It does look cool. I like it. So, let's see. We are probably like right here at this point. So I want to say we're going to we're going to take this way and see it past a couple rocks. And there probably is going to be a wolf patrolling around it cuz that's kind of what happens. They seem to like to patrol around buildings and places where you want to go. Oh, I do really like this scene here. This does look really nice. I especially like uh, the uh, the grass here. It actually looks really refreshing. It's probably not the right word. And I see I see it out in the distance now. Now I don't think my eyes are deceiving me here. I think I actually found something I have been looking out for for a while. So this just looks like a small little tree to you, but it is in fact a special tree. This is a maple sapling. So, um, I can't remember which one it is. There are two types of saplings you can harvest in this game. And they're both useful. Ooh, getting a little hungry. In fact, I'm going to take a quick bite to eat before I get too hungry. And start losing condition. Condensed milk has a lot of calories, and it also gives you a lot of liquid too. So it's it's a good food source. Tomato soup's like a, a lesser version almost, because it does give you both the food and the water as well. Okay. I don't know if that was the way you're supposed to go. In fact, you can't go back that way, so... I'm not entirely sure if that's what I was supposed to do. I get a lot of those in this game. You can, uh... As far as I can tell, they don't put in a lot of invisible walls, unless I guess it's an area that maybe they've had issues with people kind of doing weird stuff in the past with. So most of the time, you can just climb over a rock and then... As long as you find a relatively sloped way down that isn't just like a hard fall, you're usually okay. Alright. Like right here, as long as you kind of take it slowly in little jumps, it's usually not too bad. I don't know why I put that away. This is probably where there's going to be a wolf. Very dangerous, yeah. Oh, we could have gone down the path, I bet. There's like a big marked path that they totally wanted you to go down. Don't need any more books. Rifle. There we go. I have a feeling once we fix the rifle, they're going to let us shoot it. I really hope so. I, I want to shoot the gun. This place also looks heavily in disrepair. You know, similar to the dam where they had to close up shop because 
the crazy locals were like doing gorilla raids on it or something. I don't even know. We'll teach those people to generate electricity on our lands. I don't know why I do that. What is that in the middle? Is that a thing? That is. It's firewood. So it does look like a building we can go inside. That's good, because we're going to need to. It's becoming a very pretty rosy orange that also signifies that it's going to get cold and dark. What is this? Dri oh, driving gloves. It just looked like a strange creature to me. I, I had no idea what that was. Yep, like I said, here comes the cold. The dark will follow up before long. They're giving us so much food. That's why I don't mind running in this game, because it's just like... They, they've given me so much food. Can't close the door. Okay. Not my favorite things. To have a not closable door. It's worry. Oh, a hacksaw! There we go. So I don't really need it that much, but... The hacksaw's perfect for cutting up bits of metal furniture, like this metal door and getting scrap metal. Don't need it, but it's kind of cool. Although, we were told about a forge somewhere. So, maybe I could make myself another knife. That would be fun, actually. I really hope we do. That might actually be quite warm. We'll have to look at it. Some scarves. Now, unfortunately, we, uh, the door, like, we can't close the door, and there's holes everywhere. So, it's marginally warmer in here than it is outside, and considering that I have pretty decent clothing, we might be okay. Or we might this. freeze to death in our sleep. I'm not really sure. We'll find out, I suppose. So, like, and that's the other thing. If there's things that are made out of a mixture of materials, like cloth and metal, you can harvest both of them. It does noticeably have a very long harvest time. It's like two hours to get that metal out of there, those four pieces. Can't have too much water. I think I have like ten pounds of water. That's that's about too much right now. Okay. So what do we have in here? Darkness. Hopefully not wolves. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm like way, I'm way too way down right now. There's a little trick. If you fall off a slope just right, you can gain a speed boost. I have no idea why it happens, but it only works until you stop pressing W or you run into something. I'm just going to take a quick look around first, because we clearly need to go to bed soon. Okay, there are some, like, crates up here. So you'll notice I'm slow, and then when I kind of hit that down slope, I go fast. And you maintain that, like, probably, like, double speed off of your slow speed until you stop moving. I'm entirely sure it's unintentional, but I still take advantage of it when I can. Because I almost always walk around overweight. General supplies. A couple trucks in here. That we could investigate into. Is this the place of the forge, though? I don't know. That was an exit. 
electric metal box. Very danger. Do not touch. There's a lot of, like, forklifts holding pallets up. I feel like, unless maybe they were trying to escape, that that is not the best way. Just to leave something hoisted up by a forklift and then just leave it. But may maybe the gorilla attacks while they were lifting a pallet and a barrel. And they had no choice. Is this enough of a slope or is this just outside? I'm pretty sure this is outside. Because it says exit. Emergency exit only. I cannot leave shed. I'd have to look back through my notes and see if they said the forge was here somewhere else. Hey, look, a dead guy. You're a story dead guy. Holy... Maybe if you kept your torch on. That's smart. Oh, or your lantern instead of walking around in the dark, you idiot. Tripping over dead people? Yeah. He doesn't look so good. <laughs> What's that on the floor beside him? Forest no, it's time. my paper. Give it Sounds back. Like some kind of indie band. Oh, is this the gorilla this group of going. islanders? I guess I should check out this lodge. I have to stay focused on the task at hand. The forest talkers. Right, we have a bathroom. Slash locker room. Hey, get out of there. I gotta get my stuff out. Notably no forge. So, that's a little disappointing. Somebody said there was a forge somewhere. Maybe it was in that house it told me to visit. Or maybe it was one of the other buildings. I I don't know. I'll look back through my notes and figure it out myself. But Anyway, I think that's going to be it. We're at about half an hour. Uh, between the episodes, I am going to break down some stuff. Um, and, you know, collect materials and get all prepared. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time for some more The Long Dark. Bye. By the way, I should add in, uh, this is the coat that we've been using this whole time. It's decently heavy, but it's got good amounts of uh, heat and wind resist. This old-fashioned parka is better by like one degree Fahrenheit for both, uh, the temperature-wise. But it is about... A good pound and a half heavier so I'm gonna say no to that probably all right interesting enough this uh, the back of this truck is no collision the box does but this truck doesn't <laughs> I like that kind of attention to detail <laughs> hey okay this is a new item bolt cutters I've never seen this before this is what we're gonna hold on to those Oh, okay, whoops. Accidental story. Um, what did I do? Did I, did I fix gun? Is gun fix? Okay, I, I guess we know how to use the hand-driven milling machine and we fix gun. And apparently we now need to go talk to the forest talkers. Okay. <laughs> Sure, that, that was cool.